so the idea is to talk about the uh, purpura simplex for make manual professional addition which is also called in merk easy bruising it is a quite common let's, let's call it variation of normal i wouldn't even call it a disease which presents with fragility of blood vessels and therefore the patient usually a woman comes with the patechia and hemosis and bruising in particular spaces especially the thigh the buttonecks and the uh, elbow let's show you it here you can see here there are bruising there are patechia there are purpura this is purpura simplex now uh, when you it's quite common as Merck says especially in women but of course you need to differentiate it from other uh, potential causes of bruising of patechia let's start with very dangerous diseases like ttp hus or a uh, nisseria meningitis vasculitis a uh, coagulation problems warfarin a um, itp thrombocytopenia many things can cause patechia um, so we need to think of the differential diagnosis but usually this patient should be very very asymptomatic and okay uh, in contrast to the very dangerous diseases i just uh, presented ptp should be with fever with neurological symptoms maybe renal insufficiency uh, the patient should be in a bad state hus maybe after a gastrointestinal with sugar like toxin e coli uh, in with renal failure itp with the uh, uh, thrombocytopenia um, which is usually more in the lower legs maybe but the itp can also be quite asymptomatic except for the patechia so platelet count should be normal uh, Vasculitis, like IgA vasculitis, which was called Enochrona and Purpura, which is usually in the shins, and here in Purpura simplex, it's usually in the buttonecks, in the thighs, in the elbows. So, yes, there is differential diagnosis. There are other diseases that can cause patechias, and it's uh, meningitis, or meningitis, of course, is a very dangerous and very fatal disease, which should come with fever, vomiting nuchal rigidity, photophobia, all the things of uh, meningitis, which is quite a very dangerous disease. So pubar simplex should be a woman, not a man like the, the, they show here in the picture. Usually it's a woman, it, it, it's a woman, yes. Uh, usually in these places, usually the patient is very okay. Think about the differential diagnosis, do a, uh, test for platelets, for coagulation factors, for the differential diagnosis a little bit. But uh, this is very common and you should consider and remember this in the fine and okay looking patient, woman patient. So there is no specific treatment because uh, mostly the, the patechia and purpura just go away in some days. Maybe a, a, avoiding aspirin medications and other medications that can cause uh, bleeding like, uh, I don't know, warfarin uh, or anticoagulants like uh, DOAX. Uh, mainly this can cause, can prevent or reduce the incidence of uh, the patechias, but uh, no treatment is needed. It's a benign disease, benign, maybe not a disease, maybe a variation. It's not serious, but think about the differential diagnosis. Uh, it's important. So, okay, that's it. That's about Pupera Simplex for Merck Manual Professional Edition. If there are any corrections, please correct me. Thank you very much. And that's all.